Hey guys, what's up? This is Devony, and I'm coming at you with a Totem handbag unboxing. I saw this handbag online and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. It actually reminded me of a, my favorite bag of all time, which was a Cole Haan bag that I had years ago. Like I was still a director at Miami Dade. So it had to be, I don't know, like 2005, um, 06. 04 oh and anyway that bag ended up breaking i took it to they couldn't even fix it but i absolutely loved the color i loved the bag and it didn't have any hardware so it, it was just beautiful um and this bag and color reminded me of that bag um here i do um unboxings i do uh reviews of jewelry of handbags um, not too many handbags. My handbag collection is quite small. Um, I do fashion, beauty, lifestyle content, and vlogs. So if you're into that kind of thing, um, subscribe. Um, and yeah, so rate, comment, subscribe. And now I'm going to do the unboxing. I just received this delivery while I was shooting the other video. So I said I'm going to go ahead and just open it with you all now. Okay, so I have the box open. I am going to open it and show you exactly how it comes. This is how it comes when you open it up. It is just a totem bag. And now this is considered not a luxury bag i guess it's considered a contemporary bag or whatever which i'm perfectly fine with hell i'm not even that big of a handbag person i'm more of a carry a wallet type person um but I, of course i do have handbags because i need a handbag oh wait a minute my my doorbell is ringing <clears throat> yeah this is some dear francis shoes that i ordered oh man i'm gonna be doing another unboxing but i gotta show i gotta show y'all this louis vuitton cosmetic pouch that i got the double zipper cosmetic anyway that'll be the next video all right so this is the totem bag that it comes in as you can see it's just like wrapped up in tissue paper okay this is my receipt Okay, and my return slip also. Okay, so let me see. Here's the bag. Oh man. And this is the bag. It also has a dust bag in here. Let's see what it looks like. It just has the totem uh, emblem right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry because I don't want this to be too long. This is the bag. It is absolutely beautiful. I think you can indent it in here at the top. Some people wear it that way, and but, but you can also just have it um, up like this. Let me try to sit back a little bit. Okay, so this is the bag. It is beautiful it has silver hardware i know i'm a i'm a go hardware girl but i'm perfectly fine with the silver hardware um yeah and this is called pebble grain leather and tan i think it's called the tea lock bag the tea lock bag and then they also have a tea lock um they also have have a tea lock oh i thought that i thought that that was like a little scratch but no that's just a a, a stitch a stitch there you can see it better on this side oh this bag is absolutely this is the one of the nicest bags looks like that I've gotten in the longest. And I just hell did a Chanel unboxing not too long ago. Okay, so then it has a little T lock here. And how do you unlock it is the question. Oh, okay. 
it looks like you kind of push it sideways like that to unlock it and you take this off oh man i'm gonna style this up for y'all and show y'all some cutaways this bag is just so cute this is the tag for the bag and the official name of the bag is the T-Lock Top Handle Pebble Grain Leather Bag in Tan. The, the color is absolutely beautiful. This is the color that I absolutely wanted. Uh, the color of the bag is beautiful. It says here, made in Turkey. This is what reminded me of the bag that I had before. I mean, it just... This bag is just absolutely beautiful. It also comes like in a clutch size, which is just a tiny bit smaller than this one. But what I liked about this bag was that it had the top handle and I'm a top handle girl if I am wearing a bag. Um, and if you could see, you could see the graining, which I really, I love the graining. Um, even though this one is not as consistent like a Birkin or something, but it's fine. This bag is beautiful. And it is made in Italy, Totem, made in Italy. And the interior of the bag is like a tannish brown kind of color. It has a long, not a long strap. I would say it's like a medium strap. Uh, it has a pocket. As you can see, two pockets, they're just connected together. One, let me get the handle. If I can, no, I don't think I can. But yeah, it's one pocket here, and then another pocket right underneath that. And that is the only thing in the interior. Um, yeah, this bag is absolutely beautiful. Um, back open and then when you close it down you just kind of push it in like that and then you push it in like this i haven't seen anybody i saw one review but it wasn't in english <laughs> um so i just said you know what let me just um here you push this down let me show you if, if I can get an angle where the leather is not soft and that was too soft, but you just kind of like pull, just click this down in that lock like that. Let me do it. Oh no, you just push, you just lay it on. You just lay it on and then you just twist this to the side to close the bag. So yeah, I mean, it's quite easy maybe when i get used to it i'll be able to do it but i'm gonna style this bag up and show you how it looks styled i'm gonna also put on the strap and see the strap is pretty it's not long at all you can make it longer uh but they have it right in the middle and i'm sure that's where i will keep it and the straps go inside the bag so here they have where the straps connect right here to the bag on the inside some little metal loops and you connect the bag man i think i'm gonna get this bag in black i think i'm gonna sell one of my chanel bags that i don't use this bag is a contemporary bag, so it is much, much more reasonably priced. I wanna say this bag was 13, I don't know, maybe 1390 or something like that with tax. It might've been 1490, like something like that. Um, so yeah, it's about a $1,500 bag. It has four feet on the bottom. It also comes in black grain with silver hardware black smooth with gold hardware and I think a milk color like a, a white kind of color uh, sort of like my white Chanel bag it might be a little bit more milky than that because I really like that color also 
um this bag is just just absolutely stunning so this is the perfect color tan i'm gonna give you some comparisons i'm gonna go find my hermes gold planner and some hermes sandals that i have that are also in a color tan that i'll look in the box and tell you what color just to give you a color comparison of the bag just to kind of like gauge what color this bag is to other tans so i'm gonna be right back okay i'm back i don't know why i have myself sitting so uncomfortable but let me get myself straightened up here okay so I'm gonna compare some tans with this. This is the Totem Tan. This is the Hermes Golds, just so you can get like a, a gauge on the color of the tan. Cause you know, some tans are, this is a little bit more leaning, it has more cream mixed in it. So it's kind of like a more of an orangey kind of tan. I don't, I don't know. Cause I mean, quite honestly, I think they match like, for example, these are my Uggs, so compared to my Uggs, they are a bit closer in, in tan color, whereas my Hermes Gold is a bit, but then they kind of all mesh into each other. So just like my Hermes sandals here. So it all matches perfectly. Like these sandals, I don't know what color they are. I'm gonna assume, oh, Salam S S A no S E oh hell that color Salam Curry and that's like the exact same color as this bag they're pretty much the exact color exactly and then like I have some Aldo sandals why do I have this many brownish color sandals. I don't know, cause I probably have some more around here. Don't ask me, I don't know. Don't ask me no questions. But <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, more than likely, these are the sandals I always wear out. So those I just kind of wear like kick about around the house. So they'll match and the, the tone of the hardware, I'm not even worrying about that. Like I'm mixing metals anyway with my, my two-tone Cartier, so whatever. Um, yeah, this bag is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And, um, yeah, it is perfect. And it's a perfect size, I think, for my frame. Again, I'm five, five and a half, and I weigh about 125 to 130 pounds, like, usually between that amount. So, yeah, if you have any questions about the bag, I want you to rate, comment, and subscribe this review. Um, well, not really a review, it's an unboxing because I haven't had it long enough to review it and the wear and tear and things like that. I think I showed you all the feet, right? And yeah, um, so that is the Totem T-Lock bag and it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, let me try to incorporate some mod shots.